Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Settlers 3 with me and Nidhi. The last time we have started recruiting a couple of soldiers, have also reached the level where we can produce alcohol and thus um, create mana and thus get our promotions going. So now we have the first promotion. Uh, we also can't you do a couple of heavenly gifts, which is also no bad thing, usually. Good, so we have a bit of sulfur that I will never use. <laughs> and we are getting promotions in now. Also, we are building quite a few things simultaneously, so... I said I would try to skip a couple of minutes and hope for the enemies not to build too close to our border. So that's one minute. They are building everything. Yeah, once we have the third sawmill up, it should increase our building speed significantly. So they are building residences. They have a couple of spies running around. I can almost do the second promotion now. Now we have three distilleries and I think three fully producing rice farms which means we should get mana at peak capacity now. Right. We can at least do another divine gift with tons of coal and bows. That's always nice. Although we do have already max amount of bows. Also, it's... Mm, I think I don't want to produce that many bows anymore as I was producing since I have gotten so many from gifts, iron, coal, alright. Uh, have I run out of fish? Perhaps I do I have, I do have another pole somewhere, so I could build another fisher hut somewhere, well, on the coast here, why not? So let's skip another minute, see where we are. Well, things here are built, which means we should get uh, the fastest possible building speed at the current setup. And we are also not building a lot of things simultaneously, which means I will just queue another big residence somewhere. Because why not? Also, we seem to have quite a bit of coal and iron, so let's build another smelter. Here. Um, let's unstop that forester. And another weaponsmith right here. Okay. So let's. Uh, they are building another guard tower. I will have to take care of this. Uh, let's take a couple of soldiers again. That's just the blue enemy doing that. Uh, no trees, that's kind of correct. Alright. And we have almost another promotion. We can do another gift though. Uh, with swords and iron and bread. Nice. Couldn't have asked for anything better. <laughs> So they are delivering the resources now and I can soon capture that with my commando team there. 
Uh, also, why are you there? Why are you? I, I I wouldn't be surprised if you die. Honestly. That's good. They are still building. I don't want to skip currently because I I'm afraid I may lose track of that building and the enemy or my soldiers may mess things up mess things up by going into enemy territory and well starting a war. There's really no gold or weapons anywhere to be found. I haven't seen any yet. Oh well. There's the stone being delivered. Now we're waiting for the builders, which are coming now. And can we do the promotion? We can. Now I am producing a ton of weapons, hopefully. What I really need is more mana. Really, it's always the bottleneck currently. Uh, let's do another gift right there. More weapons, more coal. So, as you see, <laughs> we really need mana right now to get our promotions done. Well, though, let's see, we have 294, 271, but I have almost no soldiers according to that statistics. Is that right? Uh, 20 soldiers? No, I have more than 20 soldiers, obviously. Well, anyways, that's starting to be time to man that tower. Go to the border and hold, 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 and charge. Knock, knock, and it's ours. Let's get the hell out of there again. Well, it's, it's nice of them to provide us with such well made defense. I mean, now if they build a tower here, I probably will not lose any land due to the tower. Okay, that went very smoothly. Not sure if I should just turn on promotion again, uh, promotion, automatic, automatic um, production. I think I do since, well, also, uh, now that I have such a huge land, I want 50% to be carriers, which limits my amount of soldiers I can recruit with my current stock of soldiers, but at least I will never have the problem of running out of carriers. Well, that's what I say now. Next thing I know is I run out of carriers. Or at least there's not enough to keep my economy going. Still no promotions, no. Well, third promotions are expensive. They do take some time. And since the enemy or the tutorial that, that the introduction said I should act aggressively, that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I have two weaponsmiths now. There's quite aggressive for my playstyle. Now, looks like I could use another iron mine since the one I have is running dry, at least with, uh, well, they don't have a lot standing in front of the door. Uh, do I have coal somewhere where I could just build another coal mine? Although I do have quite a bit of coal standing around. Coal may not be the issue. Well, gold. Yes, I could also produce more gold, which would also increase my combat strength. That could be interesting, but I'm not doing it just now. Now we are producing quite a bit of alcohol. Oh. 
there's more iron, no coal. Alright, <laughs> there's also a lot of coal just standing around from my gifts. And even more coal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see, we have 78 that we can promote. We have 394, 324, that's okay. Guess I sh could dare attack the yellow player now because my army here is quite decent. I, yeah, why not? Guess that's not something they could do anything against. And production of soldiers is still ongoing, so. I will still get more soldiers. Okay, marching to enemy territory. I don't know where the fortress is. It should be somewhere around here. We are under attack from something which has a lot of arrows, so that may be the fortress that I am supposed to capture. So let's just try that. And that will be the weaponsmith right here, right? Okay. We are fighting. There's two fortresses. I'm assuming I just have to capture the one, but we never know. Alright, they're already down to the bowmen and we have captured that. Let's just occupy it with full um, full amount of archers and soldiers in general. Then also capture this fortress right here and put the army in between. What are you doing here? No, no. Don't go that far into the enemy territory. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Don't have any chance against the general. Okay, fill up this castle there and position yourselves on this spot and don't move any further. Good. With that we have won a bit of... Well, uh, it's not exactly noteworthy. We cannot do any gifts. We are under attack. We captured something. Alright, that's okay. Are they actually going to the north? Wow, they're actually going north. They're trying to attack my tower here. I'm not sure what they're trying to do. Uh, north is not under attack. Alright, you guys just stand, stay there. Why, why do you have to fight that guy? What did he do to you? Ah, oh, for God's sake. Anyways, we captured that, we can hold that. Um, do I want to bring over a couple of... Couple of pioneers to get the bridge done or not? And also, do I need such a large garrison right here? Uh, we'll try it with this garrison. I also, let's just save for a second and skip a minute or two since. Yes, okay. Find any rocks. Uh, there are rocks, but you need to find further to the north. Also, can I do the promotion now? I can, at least a swordsman. That's great. Uh, what's the matter? Why am I not getting more soldiers? I guess the thing is I have <laughs> just recruited so many at one point uh, that right now it's hard to keep more soldiers 
well, it's it's hard to uh, just get a steady stream of soldiers and not a sudden surge of soldiers, let's say, like that. We have attack strength of 73, that's okay. We are also getting more, uh, more people out now. Yeah, I mean, I have two blacksmiths working day and night. That should really keep our army growing. And we have a bit of an army going north right now. Not sure if I should attack with them. I mean, here it's better defended since we have to capture tower, large tower, and uh, you, you can do the bridge right here. Uh, right, so it's... Uh, there's another one. Okay. We have to capture tower and the fortress up there, so that may be more work, requiring more soldiers. And also, it's kind of quiet down here. Let's, let's get a decent chunk of troops up to the north. Skip another bit of time. Yes, cool. Nice. And they are running around like chickens. Great. No more promotions right now. And one more gift. With a couple of swords. Great, great. Yeah, well, I will attempt the attack and if I don't get it I will have stronger soldiers right here the generals I will move you guys up here while I select you guys and start moving toward the border and there's a lot of unemployed pioneers up here and yeah, soon, soon up there as well. I wish I could assign hotkeys to the attack groups. Sadly, it's not possible. Okay, they have decent range, I have to say. But they really... I mean... <laughs> you take 20 arrows to your... Uh, well, I don't know what, but you are still in the yellow area. That's not exactly realistic. Archers are so underpowered in small numbers. But anyways, that tower is ours. Nothing they can do. And they are really, they moved their army away from the mainland, or the, the border towards me. Not sure what's up with that. I wouldn't have had to bring so many soldiers if they don't have any army waiting for me. Well, we have that fortress in our bag as well. I expected far more resistance there. So what were they doing? Where did they have the army? Did they... What? Though, did they use up all their soldiers to, to expand to the west? And didn't really produce any more soldiers? Do they have a barracks? Bakery, grain mill, bakery, fishermen. I'm not yet quite sure which. Wow, <laughs> waterworks in the middle of the desert, nice. Uh, they have a lot of wood here. They don't have a barracks, right? So they actually didn't produce any more soldiers, and that led to them not being able to expand any f further. Wow. Well, I'm disappointed in you guys. 
you should have been uh, better than that. Also, they didn't have any weaponsmith. Alright, the Egyptians are really peaceful. And the Romans, they sent a couple of soldiers, but also not as many as I expected. At least they seem to have some sort of soldier production and also some sort of mana production, which is nice. So let's see. Uh, no, I don't see any. I really don't see any barracks. Oh well. But they didn't run out of stone, did they? No, they have plenty of stone in this area. Oh well. Thanks a lot for watching. Oh, huge area. Like, I mean, I couldn't complain in this map. I really had mountain... Two mountains that had all the resources I really needed. I had plenty of space to build everything. That's actually how I like playing the Settlers, since you can just build away, not worrying about uh, which building do I really, really need. You can just start by order of priority and build everything eventually and even have some redundancy and produce faster than just with one weaponsmith. So it's really uh, the chill aspect of the game that intrigues me. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, hope you've enjoyed and hope to see you on the 8th and last mission of the Asian campaign. Have a nice day and goodbye!